How much more Art the Clown can we really have? How many more Terrifier movies will there be? I think Terrifier 3 has pretty much wrapped up its theatrical release now. Doing absolutely insane. Making over $60 million last time I checked. Uh, may have well passed that by now. But becoming the best or highest grossing unrated movie of all time is it's insanely impressive so massive round of applause to Damien Leone and the rest of the team thoroughly deserved in my opinion obviously it goes without saying that I'm a big uh, Art the Clown fan big fan of the franchise I, I, I even love you know the Ninth Circle and all the Hallow's Eve I loved all those the anthology as well as of course Terrifier 1, 2 and now 3 with the way number 3 ended I think it's pretty much guaranteed we will be getting another movie but how many more movies that is the question and do we want it to become stale like other horror slasher franchises of the past? Let's take Friday the 13th as probably a, a good example. Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, all these other big slasher franchises. If you ask a lot of people to individually describe what happens in each of those movies, let's say Friday the 13th, tell me what happens in Friday the 13th Part 5. Can you really distinguish that from other movies? Yes, big, big fans will be able to, but they don't really have distinctive enough um, differences to really be that memorable to a casual audience. Whereas so far, at least in my head, Terrifier 1, 2, and 3 are different and unique enough to very much stand alone in my head while still being one cohesive story. And I think that's the difference. Most slasher stories, most slasher franchises their movies are quite individual. Having individual movies that blend into one isn't ideal. Whereas having one cohesive story that still feels individual, that's quite different. And I think, in my opinion, in many ways, is what sets Terrifier apart. Now, pretty much everybody knows we're going to get a Terrifier 4. I think in many interviews, Damien has mentioned that there will be one, maybe two more movies. Um, while looking up, just to confirm, I came across this quick article on joe blow thanks joe um which had some nice quotes in which i'll read to you now just to make sure i'm not getting anything wrong so speaking with coming soon leone said no so when i wrote part two i knew that was the sorry i knew what the end of the franchise was so when it just became a matter of well how many puzzle pieces do i need to get from here to there so it should just be one more movie unless it turns into something too big again because nobody could deal with like a two and a half hour slasher film it's asking a lot of people i totally get that with obviously the amount of gore that that these movies <laughs> uh, contain it could be difficult to get through extended periods of time for many people with that sort of stuff uh where was i so, I mean, if it gets out of control, who knows where it's going to go? It wasn't even my intention to really announce that there was going to be a part four. The way that happened was we were at the uh, Fantastic Fest screening. It was like 2.30 in the morning. We did a Q&A afterwards. And now I'm in a room with people who have eyes in their head. I think most people have eyes in their head, Damien. <laughs> They've just seen the end of Terrifier 3. Clearly, it's the most blatant Empire Strikes Back cliffhanger uh, ending like there's gonna be another one so the person asked me is there gonna be more i'm like well of course there's gonna be more i would never do that to the audience like how can you leave the audience there the next day it's like damien leone announces terrifier 4 terrifier 4 green lit uh this that i'm like oh my god let's get through terrifier 3 so yeah i mean there is yeah i think to be honest despite with these reading these interviews and seeing these audience questions and the answer that he gave Look, we all would have come to the same conclusion regardless but it's very rare that these sort of movies get put out especially theatrically with cliffhanger endings if they they aren't really expecting to do a, a you know a progression of the story and uh, i think in this case it was very clear and let's be honest even if nobody wanted to put it out i'm sure damien would find a way whether it be fan funding or off his his own back you know out of his own pocket number four would have been made either way Anyway, uh, you will know the end of this franchise. It's like a concrete, solid sort of ending. When you see it, you'll know what it is. Now, that's an interesting line. I don't know whether that means Art will be killed off, kind of like how they you know, definitively killed off Michael Myers in Halloween Ends, or whether Sienna will die, or whether she becomes something more, whether Art becomes something more. I don't know. That's quite an interesting line, though. Um, I'd like to know theories on that in the comments down below. Anyway... 
You'll know when this thing is put to bed for a while. At least, I mean, we've opened up the door to the supernatural, so I could always figure out a way to bring Art the Clown back if I wanted to, but I want to have a solid franchise, a saga that I could tell with a beginning, middle, and an end. You know what it is. You could walk away feeling satisfied. And I'm glad he looks at the franchise this way. I'm glad he doesn't look at it as a cash cow where he's like pumping out movie after movie thinking, okay, what other situation can we put Art in that's funny audiences will talk about it enough we can put loads of gore in there and i'll make shit loads more money i'm really glad that that's not how he looks at it and he is looking at this as an actual cohesive story that you can go you can put it all together you can watch them back to back and it just makes sense and it just works it's not like oops it's not like something again using friday the 13th as my example where they just kept pumping out jason because those movies were cheap to make and made a relatively decent return. So effectively quite a good way of making a few mil for very little effort, let's be honest. As much as I love Jason, by the way, I'm not dissing Jason. I'm a big Friday the 13th fan. Uh, I don't want to just get lost in the woods and you just meander in and kind of fall into like the category of just diminishing returns and you're just tarnishing everything that's come before it uh, or characters who you thought should have been who should have played a major part, really had nothing to do with it in the grand scheme of things. It's like, well, why did I invest all that emotion, all that time and energy into what came before it? So I don't want to run into that trap, which happens a lot (laughs) to a lot of franchises. Kind of goes back to exactly what we've just been talking about. So I think maybe one more film, and that'll really tell the story that'll put an end to the saga for a while anyway. Interesting. So he states that there is a very definitive ending to the story that he has in mind but then he ends this quote by saying for a while anyway so yeah i suppose he touched on it earlier the introduction of the supernatural leaves it open to well pretty much limitless possibilities and if they want to bring up the clown back they just pretty much can it doesn't really need explaining it's just supernatural so yeah that makes sense There's also a little quote here to Variety where he says, there is no definitive answer at this time regarding how many more films I will make before concluding the Terrifier saga. Personally, I can't see it going further than one or two more films, but only time will tell. For now, all I can say with certainty is that I know how it ends and it will be epic. It will certainly be an epic showdown, an epic closure to this Art the Clown saga. The idea I'm toying with in my head would probably be in some regards the most experimental, so I can't dive into it too much. Some really, really crazy things will happen in this next one. Now that gets me excited. That gets me very, very excited. I don't know how much more experimental you can go. Uh, My theory for number four was that Sienna would essentially travel to the Ninth Circle, to hell, to try and save um, her cousin. I've already forgotten the character's name. But the, w- the way the third one ends, that's kind of how it, you know, how it's set up. That she will be traveling down to try and save the little girl. So we'll see what that leads to. But terrifier and experimental are two words that I find quite exciting, to be honest with you. I'm really looking forward to seeing what is in store for us moving forward. But I don't know whether more than four, maximum five is a good idea. If I was ever to see Art brought back, let's say they do five movies, which I think is the max. If they were to bring him back in the future, the only way I'd be okay with it, if it was for something like a Freddy vs. Jason, you know, just have some fun with characters. Slasher characters are fun. They're, in a way, kind of silly and ridiculous. Characters like Freddy and Jason, like, yeah, it's just, it's silly. And that's why putting them together in this crazy fight movie worked. And it did really well. And I'm amazed we didn't get more of it. How have we not had, you know, Chucky versus Michael Myers? But yeah, whatever. <laughs> but bringing Art the Clown back in that sort of fashion, I think could be fun. Don't mess too much with the law that's been established, the, the solid, solid story that's been told for the Terrifier franchise. Leave that as it is and then have fun with the character. That's how I see it. That's what I would do. But again, who am I to say what works best? Otherwise, I'd be a very rich man if I knew. Anyway, that's where we're at with the Terrifier movies. How much more Art the Clown do you want to see and how many Terrifier movies do you want before this story is wrapped up? Four or five? What's the golden number? Maybe more. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. See you guys. (laughs) 